imagine yourself on a warm summer day having a picnic with your best friend. Now just suppose that suddenly, from out of nowhere, alien spaceships appear and suck up all the Earth's water. What would happen to your picnic? Well, if there wasn't any water, there wouldn't be any plants. And if there weren't any plants, there wouldn't be any animals that eat plants. That means you what? wouldn't have any food. And if there wasn't any water, you wouldn't have other things like bicycles or furniture. In fact, if there wasn't any water, you wouldn't have 70% of your body. Water is essential for life. Every living thing on our Earth requires water to survive. Everything? Everything that's alive. Plants use water during photosynthesis, the process of using the sun's energy to grow. Without water, there wouldn't be any plants, or animals that eat plants, or animals that eat animals that eat plants. Want to see how water affects plants? Get some radish seeds, 12 empty cups, and some potting soil. Poke holes in the bottom of the cups. Then fill the cups with dirt. Sprinkle about 50 radish seeds in each cup and cover them with dirt. Divide the cups into groups of four and label the groups one, two, and three. Every day, add five milliliters of water to the cups in group number one. Give group two 30 milliliters of water. And water group three with 60 milliliters of water. Put the cups near a window. Be sure to treat them all the same except for the different amounts of water. What do you think will happen? After a week, you can easily see that plants don't grow well with too little or too much water. They only grow their best when they have the right amount of water. We need water for just about everything we do. Look around your home. How many ways do you use water? We use water all the time at home. Good job. Oh, my Water is also used by farmers to grow our food. In fact, more water is used for agriculture than for anything else. But water isn't just used for growing crops. It's needed to process them too. Fruits and vegetables are washed and cleaned and frozen, and canned, and pickled. After it's processed, water is needed to move the food to markets. Huh? Water? You need water to manufacture cars and trucks. About 100,000 gallons of water are used to make one car. Cars and trucks can't even go anywhere without water. I thought they ran on gasoline, not water. They do, but gasoline is made from crude oil, 
and it takes gallons and gallons of water to refine crude oil into gasoline. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. This just in. It has been confirmed that water is used to make just about everything. Water goes into everything we eat, too. Take this hamburger, for instance. We need the water to grow the wheat for the bun, the water to grow the lettuce, the tomatoes, and the water to grow the food for the cow. 700 gallons of water goes into this hamburger, and that's not even including the ketchup. Do you want to know a secret? Come closer. We're not alone on this planet. There's other creatures besides people who need water. Most animals live near water, a lake, river, stream, or pond. We humans need water too, but we don't always live near it. So we've learned how to take the water with us. Moving water from one place to another works better when we use pipes and canals. In some places, we built dams to store water from the winter rainy season. Then we use the stored water during the hot, dry summer months. But when we build dams and move water, we change the natural water systems, which can affect plants and animals that also need water. So we have to make sure there's enough water for both people and wildlife, which means we can't waste water. Stay tuned for the Water Waster Show, coming up next. There's tons of water on this earth. So why should we care how much water we waste? Although it looks like the earth has lots of water, we can only use a very little bit of it. 97% of the earth's water is in the oceans. That means most of the earth's water is salty. What do you think would happen if you watered your plants with ocean water? Well, you could find out by doing this experiment. Get two containers and put a cup of water in each. Label one cup fresh. Then add two teaspoons of salt to the other container and label it salt. It's now about as salty as the ocean. Using two of the radish plants from the first experiment, label one, fresh, and the other, salt. Every other day for a week, water the fresh cup with 30 milliliters of fresh water. Water the salt cup 
with 30 milliliters of salt water. What does this experiment show you? Ocean water has too much salt for most plants and animals to use. 2% of the Earth's water is frozen at the North and South Poles. If 97% of the Earth's water is salt water and 2% is frozen, that means just 1% is available fresh water. And some of that is polluted, so we can't even use it. We have to be careful with the fresh water we have because we share it with other living things. Let's see what happens when pollutants get mixed with our water. Use the last two cups of radish plants you grew from the first experiment. Combine two teaspoons of motor oil with 30 milliliters of fresh water. And water one of the radish cups. Water the other with 30 milliliters of fresh water. Wait a few days. Is polluted water good for plants? I don't think so. We need to keep fresh water clean by keeping pollutants out. And we need to conserve water by using only what we really need. How can I save water? I'm just a kid. Even if you're little, there's a lot you can do. You can take shorter showers. Remind grown-ups to water outdoors only in the early morning or evening. That's when the sun isn't as hot, so most of the water won't evaporate. Wash your car using a bucket and a hose with a shutoff nozzle. Screwdriver, please. Ask your parents to fix leaky toilets and drippy faucets. Even a tiny drip can waste lots of water down the drain. Ask your family to wash full loads of clothes and dishes. Okay, Johnny, you go that way. Javis, you go and that shut way. the water off after you've reloaded, Belgram. Come on, let's go, go, go! Another thing you can do to save water is to shut it off when you brush your teeth. Want to see how much water is wasted if you don't? Get a toothbrush, toothpaste, some cups, and a friend. While you brush your teeth, leave the water running. Ask your friend to catch the water in the cups. When you're done, see how many cups of water would have been wasted down the drain. Water is something we use every day, and it affects everything we do. Without water, life as we know it would be impossible. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about something as silly as alien spaceships coming to Earth and sucking up our water. Mm -hmm.